Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about rim tape, reflective tape that you can add to your bike to make it more visible at night. Pick this up on Amazon for about $16. This is what you get in the package. You get 32 strips, which would be eight that you need to use per wheel side. Each of these strips is about six inches and three eighths in length. And what I did is I made some cutouts to tape on my wheels to make sure that my spacing is exactly correct so I don't run out of strips. So let's get into the installation. So if you use a different product than what I am using here, I would recommend you cut out some strips uh, if your product comes in strips and measure them, make sure you're going to have enough material. When I first laid this out, I tried a quarter of an inch overlap on each piece, and I ended up with uh, about an inch and three-eighths gap. I went back and respaced them with a sixteenth of an inch overlap, and that seems to work best. So when you're going to be working on your wheel, you certainly want to make sure that your wheel is clean and there is no grease on it. So you can clean this with uh, mild detergent and water, make sure it's dry, or you can go with alcohol. Now these individual pieces are a little over a quarter of an inch wide. We'll peel off our first one. Lay it on our wheel. and lay it in position. And we'll start with our next piece. Carefully do about a sixteenth of an inch overlap. And I'm just running my finger over this to push all the air bubbles out. Some of the products available come in a roll of tape and a roll of tape may not be sufficient to do your rim. So you want to check what your total circumference length is to make sure you have enough rolls to complete your project. The problem with rolls is that if your material is not stretchy like electrical tape would be, you may find out you get little puckers on the inside radius and that can be a problem. So we're going to continue installing along and we'll come back when it's complete. Okay, we're down to our last piece. This does have a little bit of stretch to it. And it looks like I'm ending up with uh, about a quarter of an inch or a little more of overlap. What I'll do is just peel this back a hair, give a little more overlap on this side. Press it down. That's it. So now we, all we got to do is clean the other three surfaces, install our product, and give it a little test when it's dark out. So we're trying this at night, 
just using a headlight. And this is with the high beams on. So that's it for our trial. Filming with the GoPro uh, makes the angle pretty wide and I'm not sure that the reflectiveness is really showing up as well as it does. But it certainly makes the bike very visible. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you think you've learned something and want to see more, please hit the like and subscribe button. And if you look down in that lower right hand corner, you'll see a bell. Hit that and you'll get notified of when we do our next videos. Thanks so much for watching. See you again.